uh, tis the season to be merry, but occasionally around workplaces, things can get a little bit messy. Well, hopefully not. And we are joined this morning by Ainsley Pelleray from Fix HR to talk about ways that you can make sure that your work Christmas party is a success. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning, Kat. Hi there, Andrew. Good to be here again. Thank you for having me. It's an interesting uh, time of year, isn't it? Because there's a lot of celebration, but um, there can be some pressures sometimes for employers to feel like they've got to put on this big event. And then, well, things can sometimes go a little sideways. What have you observed in your work? Look, it is, it's been a tough year and there are lots of business owners out there trying to think, how on earth can I say thank you to my people sticking with me all year and also to sort of recognise and reward and set things up for next year. So the Christmas party is the obvious way to do that. But, uh, you know, things can go horribly wrong if you don't set that up beautifully, get ahead of some of the risks that are inherent in a Christmas party. Well, I know that at Rima Media, who is celebrating their Christmas party tonight, they do it very, very well here. But what are some common issues that can arise at workplace Christmas parties in general? Look, I think alcohol is uh, something that lots of small business owners in New Zealand, their staff expect there to be drinks. Um, Now, I'm not a person who would say necessarily blanket ban that, but it really can lead to all sorts of uh, misjudgments and hassles and problems. Stuff comes up, people feel bullied or harassed or uh, lines are crossed and it's and it's very easy. Listen, another little thing that I should mention while we're here is that financial mismanagement can be a thing that comes up too for, for business owners. They're trying to be generous and kind, but this is something that IRD really do uh, scrutinise quite carefully. So... So this is a sort of a not an HR thing, but it's important to just uh, be transparent and responsible around your spending mm. around these events. Yeah. So are there then some creative ways that you've seen where people can embrace workplace Christmas celebrations, but maybe not relying on the alcohol component? That's exactly it. You see, uh, it's a matter of having an event, making sure people are entertained, having a fun memorable time that you've got some great photos and stories to share alcohol doesn't have to be in the middle of that it it can be but front and center there's something a little bit risky about that so uh, activities like games or outings karaoke uh, talent show depends on who's in your who's who's in your team and what they love to do if they're sporty people that's a that's a gift if they never do any sport, then think about another activity, maybe like, a, you know, a, a pottery thing or a painting thing where they take something away and they share in the creating of something lovely. Horse riding, you know, a day trip somewhere, just go somewhere different and special. Daytime might make it a little easier to not be sort of saturated in booze, like a picnic at a beach or something like that. Activities that encourage positive interaction and inclusivity, they reduce the focus on alcohol and it's a little easier, you know, rather than trying to manage something that is a bit risky. Yeah, I like the sound of games and I've seen this viral game that people play at Christmas parties where they basically tie a string to their waist and then a Christmas bauble and they have a cup and they're trying to flick the bauble into the cup. It looks oh, yeah. hilarious to see a group of people doing go. that. Playing some games, yeah. that's right. So I'm sure it's you can not centered around creative. the alcohol table. Mm. It's having a lot of fun together. Yeah, I'm sure there are lots of ways that you can be creative. But let's just say, worst case scenario, something's gone awry. What sort of steps should an employee take if they experience or witness inappropriate behaviour at a work event? Yeah, that's a super good question, Kat, because uh, forearmed, no, forewarned is forearmed. Yeah, that's that's, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Look, Make sure that there is a reporting channel in place. So employers who are listening, get ahead of this. Make sure people know who to talk to if something's not right. Uh, you, bigger organisations, it's a good idea to make make available something that's anonymous. Don't need to come to the boss, you know, but make sure that people know who to talk to. And if it is you and something's happened or you've witnessed something that's not good, get it documented. Even if you're writing it down, that's so much better than nothing. But if there are photos, if there are emails, 
gather evidence because concrete evidence can strengthen a case for an employer to be able to go to someone and say, listen, we saw this, we captured it, it's not acceptable. Mm. Uh, anyway, grab everything you can. Think about support systems like, um, you know, there's EAP available for organisations or peer support and make sure you follow up. Don't just have a bad experience and report it. Go on, follow up, follow up with HR or the business owner, make sure that something happens because you have, as employees, you've got a lot of protection out there, mm. um, including seeking legal counsel. If it's really serious, you just go ahead and do that. That's what that's there for. Well, Ainsley, one of the things I love about you is that you make all this knowledge available and accessible for people too. So I know you've popped it all up on the website and, uh, of course, you're always available to help people like yourself. But if people want to get more info from you or get some more of these ideas, uh, where can they go to get it? Listen, we don't have a whole page on our website about Christmas events, but on our website, you'll be able to get in touch with us. There are some really interesting and helpful blogs there. www.fixhr.co.nz our phone number's there. Give us a call if there's any concern about an upcoming event or something that might have happened in the uh, last year that you want to avoid this year. Look, it's about preparing code of conduct in place, uh, policies on harassment, policies on substance use in our workplace. Get ahead of it. We're here to help. Thank you so much. Ainsley joining us from Fix HR, and you can go to fixhr.co.nz. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye, you guys. Have a good Christmas. Ah, amazing. I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss the next video. We'll see you in the next one.